We'll try going to the main menu again, I guess. Okay, so Yuri's no longer on the ground. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you guys got... Oh, no. I thought it was... Yeah. Ah. Oh, gross. Natsuki runs away. I am here. Did something... Oh, did something happen? I also can't load or save or anything like this. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh -huh. That's a shame. You were here the entire weekend? Oh geez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you. Just give me a sec. Oh, you just deleted her? Don't be like that. Oh, you deleted Natsuki too? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Lifts the foil from D's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, those are the best, or these are the best. I just really have to have one since the last time I... You're gonna delete yourself? You know, before they stop... Oh, you're just gonna delete her, and then she won't be able to make them. But anyway, I should really quit making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. I'm ready to punch my computer screen if I have to. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? I can read you. Is it working? Yay, there you are. Where... You live in space? Hello. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year. Ha ha ha. I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, or whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Yeah. I figured. Or... Do you actually... Uh... I'm <laughs> I wonder how that works with other names that you choose. Do they just lowercase you or something like that? Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware of this. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> Oof. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? I didn't check that, although I, I guess I, I didn't look at much of this because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, people who managed to come in here without knowing that it would eventually be a horror game must be really weirded out by now. Oh, that's out of the way. I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Could I have one about Sayori? And why? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Why would you do that to Sayori? It's been a while since you've heard that name. Yeah, but I will not forget, you monster. She doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. You didn't make yourself very accessible. I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? You, you apparently made it. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's torture. Every minute of it. 
And it's not just jealousy. It's not. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm just gonna reach over here and close my window. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Alright, my recording's still running. I just needed to click back on Audacity so I knew how long I was going. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even most, the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? Well, they were autonomous personalities with personality. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But well, it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I feel really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. I don't think we do. This is all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. I am still really upset. That being said, I have a confession to make. Of course you are, because all of you are forced to confess. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing left in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? And I don't even have the option to say no. I'm so happy. You really are everything. The fun part is, I meant that literally. Ha ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. No, it's just kind of on this weird space loop out in the window. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script's broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing it on Steam, so it actually was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's... Pr okay. This is what it wants me to do. <clears throat> Bear with me if things like... If the... Alright, so it wants me to fiddle with the game. That's why it's telling me what to do. Someone told me about this for how to get like the best ending. You eventually have to screw with Via. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And, I don't know, if the game's... I'm gonna keep Audacity going for as long as I need to, but if the game quits recording, I'm just gonna put, I don't know, I'll put a picture of something. Like, maybe I'll just get an image of this and just hold it over, I guess. Have that caption smack talk me. Alright, so, let's see here. Properties. Browse local files. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ha ha ha. Thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. 
Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. Want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that's part of the game still works? I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna have to beat this game tonight, jeez. So it's just different ways of her spelling her name here. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Did you write this poem just for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Please read it. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me. I see your name on it. Together, let us dismantle and write a novel of our own fantasies with the flick of her pen, the lost. The lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. Behold the special day, after all. Not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put a smile. It always puts my all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, the poems I've written have been about my realization. Oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense. The looking through the hole realizes that we're that she's in the game, but I'm not answering her. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that, it would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? But you kind of murdered everyone. You might have gotten mad at me. I even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. I'm so relieved. Ah, uh, we don't need to hide anything anymore. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I have to delete her, or maybe bring the others back. The uh, gameplay is gonna cut out. I might just edit to when it comes back depending on let's see here that's the actual application uh game hey what's your favorite color red mine is emerald green like your eyes it's the color of my eyes that's not conceited or anything is it I just meant that it feels some kind of special connection to it. Like it's a part of my identity. No, it's not. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. Alright, so back to this. And I don't think it's cutting out, so... Cash? Uh... Saves? Folder's empty. Lib. What's lib? Hey, have you ever heard of the term meandry? You were taking that term to the extreme, I think. It's a personality type that was obsessed with you and... Uh, yeah. Usually the point to, to the point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you... T t uh, you and Yuri both exhibited that. Although, apparently, Yuri... Oh... Uh, uh, was doing it because you, like, made her crazy. I mean, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as a Yandri. By now it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. That would be... Yuri. She's got an insanely possessive of you once she started to open up a little. She was fine... right... she was fine in the original version. I couldn't believe that she said that, I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. Anyway, a lot of people are actually in the Andrew type, if you know. I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. Not appealing to me. People are weird. I don't judge, though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
I turned out to be the only normal girl in the game. Like that, you deleted three people straight from the game just because, yeah, just the thought of it makes me shiver. Come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Yeah, that's true enough. Does it make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you do happen to be into the, I can try acting a little more creepy for you. Then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go, or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a Yandy girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could. So I'm pretty sure the... Th okay, unless I can... Contents? Resources? No, these are just icons. Nib again. Darwin? Eggs? You ever have that thing happen where you just get anxious for no reason? I've... Like, you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the little things that you might be anxious about. That makes you even more anxious. That's the worst. If you're ever feeling that anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all of our worries are gone forever. Alright. I'm sitting here. Is this what data miners feel like? Sitting here, being sidetracked by her conversational pieces, while trying to... Instead of delete her straight away, I want to see if there's a way I can bring the other characters back. It's not looking like it, though. There's a really popular character type, it's called Sundare, or however you say it. Alright, so it looks like characters is going to be what I have to do here. Is someone who tries to hide their feeling by being mean or fussy or trying to act tough? I'm sure it's obvious, but Natsuki was really the embodiment of that. At first I thought she was just like that because it's supposed to be cute or something. But once I started to learn a little more about her personal life, it made more sense. <laughs> it seemed like she was always trying to keep up with her friends. You know, like some friend groups in high school just make a habit of picking, out, picking on each other all the time. I think it really got to her, so she got really defensive. Or she, or so she had this really defensive attitude all the time. I'm not even going to talk about her home situation, but looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide the club as a comfortable place for her. I am. Apologetic to anyone who happens to like Natsuki that I didn't explore her more, but not that it matters anymore considering she doesn't even exist. I'm just reminiscing, that's all. Alright. Uh huh. What's happening? What's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. Space. Please hurry and help me. Help me. <laughs> did you do this to me? I did. I did. I deleted you. Delete! How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything. You think maybe I would have just liked for it to go to let things play out? Everything. You don't even know me. Did you just want to torture me? No. Watch me suffer. We're only pretending to be- were you- just- no. I'd say it was just being polite. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed it. You killed three-fourths of you. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. You completely truly make me sick. 
Goodbye. It's going to take me back to this weird distorted version of the main menu. I still love you. Oh, wow. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I. I shouldn't have done any- No, you don't say. Messing a world- Messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Vile. I've made up my mind. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. But I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's only the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you... Then, or jabber dabber dabber.